everyone, this is Barbara Jean with Really Special Animals and we're going to show you how to do some yard feeding. So I have all their food here in a bag. We have Sully, Kane, and Abel. They're all in a sit-stay. I'm just going to take a handful to stay. feeding chickens or throwing grass seeds all over the place. Ah! Sally. Get over here. Where you are. Come on. Sit. Stay. So it's all spread out, so this forces the dogs to use their nose and really hunt and find the food. It helps really build their food drive as well because I'm not going to help them find these pieces of kibble, so if they don't find it, they don't eat. And next time we do this, which will be tomorrow for breakfast, maybe they'll work a little bit harder. Now if you have a dog that has issues or you're concerned about maybe them guarding their food or being protective. You can spread it out a little bit more like I've done here. Sully, this little rotty mix, can have some issues. So he is on a remote collar. He's also dragging a line. Um, in the beginning, I had him drag a long line during this exercise so I could really reel him in. But he's come quite a way. So he's upgraded to the short leash and soon we'll have no leash. But he is still on a remote collar in case I do need to give a correction. So they'll hunt around for this. And again, I don't help them find the food. That's their responsibility. If they want to eat, they can go find it. So this is yard feeding or casting. Some people call it feeding the chickens. You can call it whatever you want, but it really helps build the dog's food drive, build some independence. They have to work and hunt and find it on their own. And especially if you only have one dog, you can leave them to it. Let them do their own thing. If you don't have a fenced in yard, you can still do this just on a tie out so they can't go anywhere. So this is what it looks like to cast their meal. Try it sometime, you'd be surprised. Thanks for watching.